This is by far the best training exercise to unlock your full potential on competition day. Now before I explain the exercise, let's ask the question, why? Why should I do some exercise that's supposed to help with solving a competition? All you have to do is turn fast, right? Well, the problem is, the way competitions work actually goes against the way you practice. Whenever you practice cubing, you scramble the cube, solve it, and repeat, with no gap in between. Now this is fine for getting many solves in efficiently, but it isn't benefiting the solves you do on the front stage. Whenever you go to a competition, your group gets called up for the event you're doing, you turn in your main cube, and you wait. The wait time can vary depending on the event you're doing, and how long it takes for the group to take your cube to the scrambling station, scramble your cube, and wait for an open station so you can do your solve. And that is what led me to this simple exercise. Most speed cubers just use a cube cover, take a few deep breaths, and uncover the cube and inspect under 15 seconds. Now, this isn't bad, but we can definitely do better. Let's make a new session on CS Timer and name it Comp Sims. This is just to separate our solves for competition from the rest of our sessions. Now go to your settings and make sure these are selected. So hit the settings wheel and go to timer. Now make sure entering in times with is typing so that you can type in the times that your stack mat shows. Also use WCA inspection always up so that it's counting up and then I make sure the voice volume is pretty loud so I can hear it from my monitor. Click OK and then whenever you hit spacebar it will start the inspection timer and call out 8 seconds and 12 seconds. Nice. Next is using the same equipment that your competition will be using. Most competitions in the US are using Gen 5 timers right now so that's what I'll be using. Now when you scramble your cube and cover it all you have to do is walk to another room and wait. Now for 3 at 3 I think a fair wait time is 45 seconds to 2 minutes. And you can choose different times each time to keep you guessing. I use my timer app on my phone, start it, and close it, so I'm not focusing on the countdown. 2,000 years later. In the meantime, do your normal routine while you're in the competitor waiting area. I usually just spam PLOs on 303 to keep my hands warmed up. Once your timer goes off, walk to your desk, and this is key. Do the same routine every time. I cannot stress this to you guys enough because this is going to be the biggest thing that gets you in the zone. Wow. This routine will eventually become normal and you won't have to think about it during the competition. But what I do to get myself ready and prepared is just take some deep breaths while I'm walking to the station, sit on my leg since chairs usually are low compared to the tables, take a deep breath and go. Now whenever you remove the cube cover, Make sure to hit your spacebar at the same time to activate the inspection timer on CS Timer, which will call out 8 seconds and 12 seconds. Your solves might be considerably slower than normal, but that's why it's good to practice this way. After doing this for a few hours over a 3 day time period, I noticed a big improvement in my competition simulation performance. I will say though, that if you struggle to get good times in competition, and your current PRs don't reflect how fast you are at home, this type of training is going to help you a lot. Now to practice what I preach, I'm going to competition this weekend and hopefully break some records. I'll see you in the next one.